All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about a color family called the neutral color family. Um, and this is different than what we have been talking about, which is warm colors or cool colors. Remember, warm colors are a little bit like sun or like fire, and cool colors are like the mountains or water or the forest. And um, those kind of divide up our color wheel. Now, what's not on our color wheel is our neutrals. And these are sometimes used to add to our warm and cool colors, to change them, make them lighter, make them darker, um, make a tone. Um, but these are not on our color wheel. So it's brown, black, gray, and white. We're gonna be using those to make a difference in our artwork from our warm colors and cool colors. A difference, we can also use the word contrast. So we're gonna make a difference between the two. So we're also gonna be using our imaginations today and um, you're gonna come up with an idea of a place that you would like to be. So we're kind of all trapped in our houses or kind of have to stay in our houses a little bit um, lately. So what I want you to do is think about some place that you would like to be. So one of my favorite places to be is swimming. And so I thought about maybe swimming in the ocean. And you'll notice that I did a keyhole. So it's almost like you're looking through a door outside to some place that you would like to be. And I used a neutral color around my keyhole to make a difference from the cool and um, warm colors that I used inside my idea. You can also use neutrals to make details, but just make sure that it's not the main color inside your um, idea. So I'm gonna start by showing you guys how to draw a keyhole. You're gonna start with a circle. Now, um, don't make a tiny little keyhole because what that does is it makes the background, everything around your keyhole, the main idea, if your keyhole is really small. You want your idea, the keyhole idea, to be the biggest thing, the main idea, it's what everybody's looking at. Okay, so I'm gonna make a big circle up near the top of my paper. And now I'm gonna go um, from the bottom of my circle, go out, and then we're gonna do a little angle. It almost looks like a gumball machine. So I'm gonna go out. So two lines that go out like this, and then I'm gonna cut off the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase this part of my circle so that it just creates one big shape. Now I want you to think about um, a place that you would like to be. So for example, let's say I'm in a field of flowers going off to the mountains, all right? So I'm gonna do a horizon line and then I can maybe draw some mountains, all right? whatever kind of mountains you want, maybe some clouds up here. And maybe I'm on a path going off into the mountains. Kind of see. So the path's coming towards me. It gets wider as it comes towards me. And maybe I want some big flowers down here. It's really whatever you want. Just know that um, it looks much better if the things that are coming towards you, things that are closer to you, are down at the bottom of your paper and as things go up your paper they get smaller because they look like they're really far away so for example if I did a tree right here it's a little bit smaller right if I put that flower up near that tree that flower would look huge and we've talked about how to make trees so if you want to check out that video if you don't remember okay um, and I can do oh let's say a really big flower because it's really close to me oh the went past let me erase that um, really whatever you want so I'm gonna kind of leave this so I don't take up too much of your time but you're gonna choose a neutral color to color around your keyhole. So I'm just going to take my black crayon here and color in everything around. You can color in with marker. 
You can use a brown, a gray, um, black. I would leave it white. Um, just because your paper, your artwork won't look finished if you leave it white. So I would use something else. Gray, brown, or black for your neutral. I'm going to kind of make, just so it stands out a little bit, I'm going to outline my keyhole. And if you want to color it in really, really dark, that looks good. So that's that's kind of what I did with this one. I colored it really, really dark with my crayon. Or maybe you want it to be lighter. It looks a little bit like like wood or something. Maybe metal. All right, you get the idea. All right, and I can even go with a contrast and color in all of this with a different material. Like for, I could do that with um, markers or I could do that with colored pencil. Um, whatever you want but this is this is your idea I want you to be really creative on where you would like to be or someplace that you would like to visit and I hope you guys have fun with this I had a lot of fun thinking about a place that I would like to be just remember that you're making a contrast between your neutral color and your um, regular color wheel colors that we've already kind of talked about, the warm colors and the cool colors. All right, I hope you have fun.